Hey, it's Scott Orner, Cruise Consulting. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we talk about startup accounting and taxes and venture capital. And today we're talking about what does a VC fund spend their 2% management fees on? This is a great question. So the, the VC funds are actually managed by an operating company, typically owned by the managing partners. Usually there's multiple people who own a VC funds operating company. That operating company charges the funds the 2% management fee. So when the VC funds doing capital calls, you check out our video on VC fund capital calls, they're pulling the money down to fund their investments, but also to cover the management fee. Typically management fees are charged to the fund every quarter on a pro rata basis. So that's how the management fees get into the operating company. That's how the operating company has cash to hire people. Guess what? There's a lot of people working at VC funds. Actually, a lot of them make really good livings too. The salaries are pretty high. It's not just the managing partners, but it's all the principals, general partners, uh, support staff, you know, and associates. So salaries, are a really, really big component of the operating expenses of a VC funds operating company. The other things they have to buy, just like any business, they've got to pay for real estate. They've got to pay for all the infrastructure like computers and software and all IT support. And then the other things, you would be shocked if you knew how much venture capital funds spend on their annual audit. The It is just so expensive, so time consuming. The limited partners want those funds to be audited. They have every right and they're correct to do it because they don't want the valuations marked up incorrectly. And the audit firms really kind of take it to the VC firm, so to speak. They challenge a lot of the valuations, make them support it. And so the finance staff inside a VC firm actually has to spend a lot of time on this as well. The other thing that takes a lot of cash is the annual uh, investor day. So every VC fund is going to want to have their investors like their LPs in to do like the dog and pony show about how great their investments are, demonstrate their expertise in certain segments. Oftentimes they'll also have entrepreneurs they invested in speak at the investor or LP day, sometimes what it's called. That takes a lot of cash to put that event on. Obviously it's got to be a, a, a classy situation uh, and done very well. You don't want to make that mistake. So that takes a lot of money too. Um, a couple of things that the uh, uh, management fees don't cover, typically when venture capitalists travel to board meetings, they actually expense that against the the startup. Like the startup actually pays for like the plane flight and hotels and things like that. Also, when you're raising a new fund, oftentimes you can use some of the expenses that have been uh, accrued uh, in, the, in the, like, you know, all the travel, all the LP pitches, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can actually expense that against the fund that you're raising as well. So it doesn't come out of the prior funds management fees that you're operating. Again, remember a lot of VC funds um, are, or operating companies are managing multiple funds at once. Like maybe they raised a fund in 2020 and they raised another fund in 2022. Well, the management fees are from both those funds are going to the operating company. So they're double dipping or triple dipping or quadruple dipping on fees. Um, so the, oftentimes the operating company is actually pretty flush with cash. However, as the funds start to age, their management fee percentage goes down over time. They usually kind of trail down. Um, and that's in line with kind of the expected amount of work the, the management company is going to have to do for any given fund. Also, it's important, 2% is kind of like the industry standard, but there's a lot of funds actually charge more or less than that. A lot of the smaller funds actually will charge more because their fund amount is so much smaller. So if you're running like a $20 million fund, you might end up having to charge a 3% management fee because you actually need that cash just to run the fund effectively. And oftentimes the LPs understand that. Also, if you're like one of the top, top funds on Santa Road or New York or wherever, you may be able to negotiate a higher management fee as well. You might go get to 3%, even though the funds you're raising are pretty big because it's just so competitive. It's capitalism. So hard to get into those top tier funds that a lot of times LPs will sign up for higher expense ratios and also sign up for a higher carry, but that's a different video. So I hope it's all helpful. This is what VC funds and their operating companies that actually manage the funds spend their cash on. If you have other questions on venture capital or fundraising or startup accounting, hit us up at Cruise Consulting dot com and please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much